Well guys, I did it. I have successfully modified the Tiltra Hydra shock mount and I'll be showing you guys how I did it. Before I forget, I wanted to let you all know that at the very end of this video, like the very, very end, I will have footage that I use this exact mount right here. This one, this final version that's in my hand to capture footage, rolling footage on road and in a grassy field of a 2023 Kia Sportage X Pro Prestige. Tippy top brand new trim. Y'all probably don't care. I care because I'm a car guy, but it was with this exact mount right here. So if you want to see some examples, they'll be at the end, as well as mixed into the duration of the entire video. But we're making this one quick, so let's get to it. So before we get started, a couple of things. One, I can't make you an exact recommendation on this exact item unless I take you to my local hardware store and show you the box I pulled it out of. Springs are just not numbered or named in an easy fashion like that. I can't tell you to go buy a number four and a number seven spring and put them on there and you're all set. So what I did was in the link down below, there are affiliate links for Amazon of compression springs. And finally, you're probably gonna want a tool that's gonna be able to cut through this. So snag yourself a pair of small cutters or clippers that are hard enough and strong enough to get through this spring steel. Okay, let's take a look at how I have this thing set up. As you guys can see, it's very close to what version one looked like. And in this B-roll here, you can see that version one at speed, the wind caused by my car going down the road was causing so much force on the front of my assembly and the gimbal and the camera and everything hanging that it fully compressed the springs on the front of the mount, which makes them completely useless. So right here, this is the newest version that I'm now using. I get some compression, but they're not completely useless and they're also not so stiff that it makes it super jittery. So how did I do that? I have a two-stage spring system up here. I have a large and strong outer spring. And if you guys can see in there, there's a thinner, lighter inner spring. And so that basically made it to where I could really dial it in because one super stiff spring was just too much. I couldn't find the perfect single spring. So I layered a couple of them to get the benefits of both. And down bottom, this small spring right here, all this is for is for, so the camera is mounted down here. Up here is the rest of the hydro mount that goes to suction cups on the car. So it will hold the weight like this. But if I come up, I wanted at least a little bit of rebound so that if I come up as it's catching it, I get a little bit of squish instead of it just slapping on a bump stop like a, a rubber washer or straight onto this metal here. I wanted something to catch it. But most of your action is gonna be done by this right here. So I used a socket head screw. I believe this one's about two inches long. I'll put some links down below again. And guys, don't feel obligated to use those links. If you wanna to go to the hardware store, go to the hardware store. That's what I did. I'm just trying to make this easier for you all. And I do leave the braided steel shock absorbers down here at the bottom of the system. Most of the time, they're not really doing anything. Where they do come in handy is whenever you're getting a lot of twisting and, and yaw from either hard acceleration, harder braking, or turning during a shot. This will sort of stretch out and ease some of that momentum and then, and then bring it back. It's not a huge difference, but it's there anyway. Just go ahead and use it. And finally, please, whenever you do your final assembly and you're gonna actually hang your kit off of this thing here, use blue or the equivalent of blue Loctite for this threading down here where it's actually gonna thread into here and the threading between the shock mount, the braided steel, and the actual. Well guys, that's it. I told you we were gonna go quick in this one, so please leave a like if you liked it. Drop a comment down below on something you wanna see in the future, or if you have any questions on this video right here, and subscribe to stay on top of all my upcoming content. Thank you guys so much.